Good morning and happy Easter. I hope that each of you is having a wonderful day. These past few weeks have been kind of hard, haven't they? Do you miss your friends at school or in the neighborhood? Do you feel a little sad not to be at church today celebrating with our church family? I sure do. It's hard to be away from people that we care about. Mary Magdalene from the Bible felt that way too. Let me tell you the Easter story. On the Sunday after Jesus died on the cross, the very first Easter, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb where Jesus was buried. It was so early that it was still dark outside. When she got there, she was surprised to see that the large stone had been rolled to the side. How do you think she was feeling? Well, we know that she was sad. Jesus was a good friend to her. He had made her life so much better, and he had even healed her. He was one of her closest friends. She was sad that he had been hurt and killed, and she was coming to the tomb to visit where he was buried. Do you think she was scared to see that the stone had been rolled away? Mary Magdalene took off running to see Simon Peter and another disciple. This one isn't named, but it's possible that it was James or John. Whoever it was, the Bible calls him the disciple whom Jesus loved. So Mary Magdalene ran all the way to them and said, They took Jesus out of the tomb and I don't know where they put him. She felt very anxious and sad. Have you ever felt that way? So Peter and the unnamed disciple went to see for themselves. They ran so fast. The one who wasn't named sped past Peter and got there first. He peeks inside. Do you remember what he saw? Was it Jesus? No. Instead of Jesus, there were strips of cloth lying there. Strips that had been used to wrap around Jesus. The cloth was all there, but Jesus was not. They were confused. They didn't understand what had happened. So the disciples went back home. Not Mary Magdalene, though. She stayed at the tomb and cried. And for a moment, she bent down and she looked inside the tomb one more time. I wonder what she was thinking as she did that. This time, though, instead of an empty tomb, she saw something incredible. She saw two angels sitting down. They asked her why she was crying, and she said, They've taken Jesus away, and I don't know where they put them. She turned around, and standing in front of her was a man. Can you guess who it was? It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. I always find this part uh, a bit strange. I wonder if she was so cr crying just so hard that she couldn't tell it was him. And Jesus asks, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary thinks that Jesus is the gardener, so she asks him if he took Jesus away. The man looked at her and said, Mary. She turned. She cleared her tear-filled eyes and cried out, Teacher! She was so filled with excitement and joy to see Jesus. He told her to go share the good news with the disciples. And so she did. Do you know what that good news was? Jesus rose from the grave. Jesus was still alive and was with her and with them. She knew in that moment that everything would be okay. It was the very best news of all time. Today, we celebrate that Jesus is really and truly alive. Now, this year, our celebrations look a little different, and that's okay. It's been quite an adventure, hasn't it? Even though we aren't all gathered together, we are still celebrating that Jesus is alive, is with us, and everything is 
absolutely going to be okay. Let's find ways not only to celebrate, but to share that good news with others. Maybe make a sign for your yard that says, Jesus is alive. Maybe draw a big cross on the sidewalk. Maybe you can call someone you haven't spoken with in a long time and tell them that you're thinking about them. Whatever you do, remember today especially that Jesus is alive and is with us. Let's pray. God of love, we thank you for this special day, and we thank you for Jesus and that he rose again. Amen.